No one likes to have problems with their computer. So wouldn't it be nice if computers were better at solving their own issues? Hi, I'm Todd Kohlfeldt, a writer on the Windows team. In the next few minutes, I'm going to introduce you to Windows 7 troubleshooters, which can find and fix problems on your computer. Troubleshooters can't fix everything, but they're a good place to start. Action Center in Windows 7 is a kind of home base for security and maintenance tools for your computer. You can use it to view important messages about problems and security issues. Action Center is also the best place to get to all the troubleshooters you have available on your computer. So let's start out there. In the troubleshooting window, I have access to a set of tools that can help me find and fix problems with my computer. Troubleshooters are designed to fix problems automatically. They can help me find solutions to things like network problems or audio and video issues, and perhaps even get older programs designed for previous versions of Windows to run in Windows 7. There are a number of ways to get to troubleshooters. One way is to start them right from help and support. Suppose I can't hear some new music I just purchased. If I wanted to see all the information about sound issues, I could search help and get a list of topics on the problem. See this? It's a topic about the playing audio troubleshooter and it includes a link to open the troubleshooter directly. The troubleshooter tries to figure out why the problem is happening. If it finds issues, it will attempt to fix them for me. It also offers recommendations on other things to try so I can investigate the problem further if the troubleshooter isn't able to help. Now let's see how troubleshooters can help solve problems running older programs. I want to install one of my favorite games, MS Dogs but it was written for Windows 95 and I can't get set up to run on Windows 7. To try to solve this, I can run the Program Compatibility Troubleshooter by right-clicking the Setup file. Now, with the help of the troubleshooter, I can get set up to run. Once the program is installed, I might need to run the Program Compatibility Troubleshooter again to start MS-DOGS itself on Windows 7. With the new Windows Online Troubleshooting Service, you can get new and updated troubleshooters as they become available. Let me show you how. To use the Windows Online Troubleshooting Service, I'll need access to the Internet. Then, in the Troubleshooting Settings window, I need to make sure this checkbox is selected. And on the main Troubleshooting window, I'll need to make sure this checkbox is selected too. Now I'll have access to the latest troubleshooters and have the opportunity to download new ones. To see all the troubleshooters I have available on my computer, I click the View All link. Each time I click the link, Windows will also go online to see if new troubleshooters are available. So if you're having problems with your computer, make Windows 7 troubleshooters your first stop. They can help you find and fix many common problems.